As it's Cal here again uh, with another set of Graflex hilts. Um, it's Graflex is the hype right now, so I've had to do a lot of installations for people um, due to the recent uh, 2.0 run by Corbanth. Uh, so a lot of people want to get their lightsabers installed. Uh, reason being that I'm doing two at the same time is because uh, they've got very similar setups. So I thought it'd be uh, to save a bit of time instead of doing two separate videos. So uh, we've got here at the bottom, we've got David's Graflex 2.0 and we've got uh, Ollie's Graflex 2.0. Um, Ollie chose the ESB setup um, because the kit comes with the various different details that you need to make them uh, corresponding to the films, to the movies. Um, David chose for a Force Awakens setup and uh, they both have uh, Nano Biscotti version 3.0s by Plecta Labs. Um, uh, with David's has an Arctic Blue LED, which is um, an LED that I make using uh, two blue dyes and one green XP2 dye, so it's a tri -cree, um now that I make my own LEDs. And for Ollie's we've got um, a blue blue white uh, tri -cree, white for the uh, Flash and Clash. They've both got uh, Sloth Furnace accurate clamp cards, so definitely get some of those if you've got one of these 2.0 kits it really uh, makes it a lot more accurate that's quite a key exterior feature and they both have crystal chamber chassis by goth3 designs um, who if you've watched my videos before uh, I work with a lot of his stuff so um, a great little design there so um, both of them sent me their sabers and I started to get uh, on the installs um, so if I just start off with um, David's here. Uh, you can see it has like the ESB style grips, and you've got the uh, the Force Awakens type clamp card, uh, the uh, replica glass eye, and then I've retrofitted a slotted screw for the blade retention screw um, because I like this to sit flush. Um, you'll find that quite a lot of people use uh, this screw as the blade retention screw, but it sort of sticks out a little bit uh, when you put the blade in. So I decided to go for um, a slotted screw here. Uh, it's got the uh, accurate red button, uh, which is from the RPF run. I forgot the uh, guy's username off the top of my head, but he is selling uh, accurate red buttons. It's uh, really useful to have. Um, makes it a lot better than the, than the uh, red anodized ones that you might uh, see on the kit when you get it. Um, so in order to reveal the chamber, uh, you just simply undo the clamp here and you unscrew it. Uh, David sent me a yellow chamber, but he thought it was going to come out gold, so I decided to get it painted gold for him. So I uh, painted it with some metallic gold acrylic paint. So you've got the uh, the chamber unit here, and I fitted some uh, brass rods into the chamber. Um, the speaker is located just in front of the chamber there, so it's very very nice design by Goth Three Designs, who did this. is printed using Shapeways, um, which is a sort of uh, source for 3D printers, uh, not for 3D printers, sorry, for 3D printed parts. And it has an internal module. Uh, this one was designed for the Nano Biscotti version 3. He also uh, sells ones for different boards. Um, you've got your recharge port just here, which when you pull it, the blue accent LED lights up, and there is a uh, crystal in there. If I just zoom in, you've got that uh, quartz crystal in there. Uh, make it a bit more like how you would envision a real lightsaber to be and so when you want to have it on display you can sort of have it sitting like that on your desk or something and it will look uh, fantastic there so it has two sound fonts as standard and um, all completely change you can change all completely uh, customizable using the SD card which can be accessed through there um, the accent LED is wired to the deep sleep pad so it will turn off after five minutes but when you've uh, displayed the chamber and you want to put the uh, lower half back on you just put that on there screw it about I don't know about I do it about six times six seven times and I line it up and close it and it's ready to go um, should you want to just access the kill key you can also unscrew the bottom half and put the kill key in it saves having to take the whole saber apart um, and like I said you've got your blade retention screw here which I'll just undo a little bit and uh, what I'll do is I'll put in one of my uh, blade plugs that I make in here as well I'll just put that in there so I've got uh, one of my blade plugs I don't know if you can see it just there in the corner 
and uh, we'll turn it on. So you see the blade plug there just blocking out the light. And you got some swing sounds. This one hasn't got flash on clash, but it has the the flicker effects and the clash sounds. And uh, just hold it down to power down, and you hold it down again to change the fonts. It's a different font there. I'm going to put some fonts on here for David. Let me just blade plugs coming out a little bit. Just tighten that screw a little bit there. Just finger tight. There we go. It's not coming out now. I'll just. Try and focus it on there. There we go. So more subtle swing sounds. And change the fonts again. So the Nano Biscotti is a fantastic soundboard. Lower level soundboard and I'll just take the blade plug out of this to put it in the other one when I show that Ooh. let's undo that there it is so just hold the bunny ears take the blade plug out and then instead of taking the whole lower half off you can just simply undo and unscrew this take your kill king and pop it in and it's one of those twist kill keys so you've got to get it the right orientation I'll just grab this here I've got where's the pin there we go that's it power's off to the saver now and then you can simply screw back the lower pommel on and that is it good to go to put it on your display stand or whenever you want to use it again powers off now so that was uh, David's one and then we've got Ollie's one here Ollie opted in for the uh, ESB version so we've got the ESB style clamp card two red buttons there instead of the uh, the one button and the glass eye um, blade retention is also the same method so it's just this slotted screw here and then we'll just undo that pop the blade plug in when we want to see the the blade color just tighten that a little bit by hand that should do and then Ollie um, said that he does some airbrushing so uh, Ollie ordered the uh, chamber in black and then he did some really cool uh, brown rusting sort of airbrushing on it which uh, you can see here he also uh, sent it to me with some pieces sort of attached to the chamber there which you can see some wiring some coils so all these details like these coils I didn't do that uh, Ollie sent it to me that way I added the brass rods and I installed uh, the similar setup however we've got white flash on clash and a tricree uh, blue blue white so white is the flash on clash color and then take the kill key out once again blue accent LED wired to the deep sleep pad of the nano biscotti and there's just some details of the chamber there so it's really cool how all the wires are hidden you can't actually see any of the uh, wires to the board or wires to the uh, components in the front of the saber you can see the speaker just inside there and a uh, really nice durable chassis set up by goth3 designs again it's fantastic so put that back on simply screw it back on about five or six times and then we can go ahead and activation button is the top one here see that white flash and flash I'm trying to get it a different way if I move this power down and change the fonts again
then that one is Ollie's. So Ollie, same exact same setup. You can just undo this lower section instead of taking the entire that lower half off. You can pop your kill key in. So I'll just make sure I put it in right this time because they are twist kill keys. So you can keep the kill key in there uh, whilst you've got it in storage mode and just twist it when you want to turn it on. It's quite useful so you don't lose your kill key because a lot of people uh, might pop them on one side and they're very easy to miss sometimes. So um, that is uh, once again Ollie's Graflex and we've got David's Graflex here. Um, I'll get these shipped out to you guys fairly soon. Um, I hope you like them. Uh, should you have any questions about them just let me know and I'll happily answer them for you when you see this video. And yeah so plenty more sabers to finish up. Uh, if you want to see more of my Sabre videos, go ahead and you can uh, hit the subscribe button in the corner. Uh, not the corner of this video, behind at the bottom of the video, sorry. Um, and you'll be notified of when I do new videos. So I've got some uh, cool Sabre projects coming up. Right now it's just about clearing up my build log, so I'll work on that as soon as I can. And yeah, I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks again for watching.